Hi there, it's Jane from Earth Care Farm. And Mike. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about succession planting and cucumber planting. So succession planting is something that we do here so that we don't have everything ready at the same time. Um, these are cucumbers and what usually happens is you see like three cucumbers on the side of the road where uh, people have just planted all 12 of their plants at once and you get this amazing bounty of cucumbers. That's a, that's a wonderful thing. We, we do want to have that as well, but, but we're also going to space it out a little bit. So today we'll plant um, about half a dozen cucumber seedlings. And then at the same time, we use seeds and we plant from seed. Then what I'll do is in three weeks, I'll plant more seed again. So this, root, this row will have a succession of cucumbers growing in them, all different heights from tall here, mid and late season. So I'll show you this. You want to say anything while I'm planting? Well, I last a few days ago or last week I missed Jane's uh, little presentation on planting tomatoes, and I just want to say one of the biggest things I enjoy in the summer is having just a tomato sandwich. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than a tomato from your garden. I know today we're doing cucumbers, but I miss the tomato planting, and that is uh, such a treat to grow your own tomatoes and then make a sandwich out of nothing but tomato. I like a little mayonnaise on my tomato, <laughs> but it is delicious. <laughs> um, so when I'm planting from seed, so these guys, you saw how quick that went in. You wanna plant them at the level that the plant is in the ground. So um, this is where you'd plant right to that, that level there. And um, for seed, general rule of thumb is you plant the seed twice as deep as the seed is big. Um, you'll hear me repeat, repeat that a few times throughout this series. This is the National Pickling Cucumber, a really good pickling cucumber. I also just like a small cucumber for slicing up in my salad. So we're gonna do the same spacing. And I'm just gonna put two seeds in each hole. I'll just do a few here. I have my weed here is dill. Dill and cucumbers goes deliciously together, so I am leaving it. But sometimes I have a hard time getting rid of these weeds because I love them. All right. So here we go. I, we just succession planted. Um, then what I'm going to do next, and I'm not going to actually show you, but we're going to trellis these. We're, the same way that we trellis our peas, and pretty similar to the way we do tomatoes, although we just do one line across. We could walk down to the peas right now, and I could show you how we trellis those. Um, let's go down there. As we're going, we can kind of see what's going on here. We've, it's pretty dry. Don't forget to water your garden. It's just been a few dry days, and it's amazing how quickly things have dried out. But we have some zinnias to attract pollinators. We just passed the potato row. This is fennel, mixed herbs. We have some mustards and Chinese cabbage here. Carrots coming up. Sunflowers, tomatoes, chamomile, asparagus. While we're right here, I'm just going to show you how we harvest asparagus. We've been harvesting this pretty heavily, but asparagus just you just snap it like this. It's really tender right out of the garden. We just eat it raw like that. It's so good. So here's our peas. So you can see what we've done. I did my steaks, put, pounded my steaks in. I know Cyrus loves to watch me do that do the steak pounding um, and then we just tie twine so that things can climb on it. It's the same thing the cucumbers are going to be doing. So pretty simple, simple method. Um, anybody can do this at home and it's nice and tidy. And the peas are doing pretty well. Usually according to my notebooks over the last 20 years we get a nice pea harvest beginning at the beginning of June, usually peaking mid-June. So. These guys seem like they're going pretty slowly, but we'll see what happens in the next two weeks. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Anything you want to add, Poppy? Well, successive planting is very important because it's hard to eat a bushel basket of cucumbers when you're not going to be selling them. So besides giving them away, which is always wonderful, if you do rotate successively plant, you'll have a fruit throughout vegetables throughout the whole season. <laughs> Save that space too. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much.